Hey everybody, it's Rob back from Intrigue for uh, day two of 100 business tips in 100 days. Uh, it's all about putting teeth in our purpose as a company, empowering leaders to strengthen communities. So the goal of these videos is just to give you a tip that you can hopefully use to empower yourself to be a better leader, uh, make a better business, and, and you know strengthen the communities that you, you work in and operate in. So today's tip is uh, something that I learned about in the fundraising world that I think applies everywhere, and it's this concept that if you want feedback, ask for money. If you want money, ask for feedback. And it's a really, really cool idea because if you consider it, um, a lot of people when they're starting something new or even when they're doing something that's been around for a while, if you're phoning a whole bunch of people or reaching out via email or networking or whatever it is, I mean, networking's kind of tough these days, but even if you get the chance and, and we start off with an idea about like, hey, do you want to buy this thing? Typically people get into a mindset of, well, I'm not sure if that applies to me and you know, maybe you know, it doesn't do this and I want it to do that. And it becomes kind of tough. So if we start the, the sales process a little bit differently and we go into a marketplace looking for feedback, we actually are stroking the egos of people that are in the marketplace by asking for their opinion. And we've done this at Intrigue in a couple different ways. When we first started out way back when uh, with our video advertising business, we would go into a new community and we would ask all the advertisers and businesses in the downtown area where they thought good spots were for putting up TVs. And then we'd, we'd take a survey of you know over 50 people, asking them all the good spots for TVs in that community. And then when we finished the survey, we'd say, okay, after we've gone and put up these TVs, if we've done them in the spots that you've suggested, would you like us to come back and talk to you about advertising on our network? And they would more than likely say yes. Uh, we've also done this with uh, an HVAC solution. We're helping HVAC companies with furnace uh, filter sales online and subscriptions as well as service maintenance plans uh, as an e-commerce solution. And so we built a list of HVAC companies. We call them all, we say, hey, how are you managing the sale of furnace filters? Are you even selling them? How are you doing with service maintenance plans? Because it's a big issue. A lot of folks know they need to have it, but they don't. And we say, well, we, we really appreciate all the feedback. Once we develop the solution, would you like us to call you back and let you know how it works? And they're all kind of saying yes. And so the whole concept is if you want money, ask for feedback. If you want feedback, ask for money. So just remember, getting feedback up front might seem like it's going to take a little bit longer, but it'll get you moving a lot quicker if you actually take the opinion of the people that you actually want to sell to and get their feedback before you actually go to them with something. So I hope that helps. If you want money, ask for feedback. If you want feedback, ask for money. There's tip number two on day number two of 100 business tips in 100 days. Thanks. Bye.